Hello everybody, we are over here with some MCQs in the chapter Coordinate Geometry. So let's start with it. We have to find the area enclosed between the graph of this equation and the coordinate axis. So when you make the graph of this equation, what will you get over here guys? See, uh, basically you need the coordinates of two points over here, right? In order to make its graph, because this is a linear equation in two variables, so its graph will be a straight line. So the most simple thing which you can do over here, and which is applicable over here, can I take uh, x is equal to zero? If I take x is equal to zero, y will be eight, and if I take y is equal to zero, eight will be nine, uh, x will be nine. I hope it is clear. So if you put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 8 and if you put y is equal to 0, x is equal to 9. So therefore the graph of this equation will pass through a 0, 8 and 9, 0. Yes or no guys? So if you can join it, you'll get this graph. So basically obviously this is x axis, y axis and the origin. So basically you have to find the area enclosed between the graph and the coordinate axis. It means you have to find you have to find this area enclosed between the coordinate axis and the graph. So you see, can I say that this is 9 units over here? And can I say this is 8 units over here? And this is a right angle triangle guys. So its area will be half into base into height. So half into 8 into 9. So it is equal to 36 square units. I hope it is clear to you. And obviously needless to say you have to write the units properly. So although it is an MCQ, but suppose it's a subjective, it can obviously be asked as a subjective question as well. So I hope it is clear to you. Okay, so let us take the next MCQ. The ratio in which this line divides the line segment joining the points these two is. Basically, it is given that you've got a line segment joining these two points. Suppose it is A, uh, wait. Two comma minus two and b three comma seven, right? A two comma minus two, b three comma seven over here, and it is getting divided by a line like this. You don't know the orientation of this line, and you don't need to know it either, right? So the orientation is two x. Uh, sorry, the equation of this line is two x plus y minus eight. That is equal to zero. Two x plus y minus eight is equal to zero. So. Uh, you have to find the ratio. Suppose the required ratio is k is to 1, right? Required ratio is k is to 1, that's how you do it. Now, can I find the coordinates, these coordinates using the section formula, guys? You have studied the section formula. Can I say the x coordinate over here will be mx2, yes or no? mx2 plus nx1. So it will be 2 over here. 1 into 2 is 2 upon m plus n that is k plus 1. In the same manner m y2 so that is 7k plus n y1 so it will be minus 2 upon k plus 1. So these are the coordinates of the point of intersection. So basically you have to find the value of k is to 1. So you see this point is lying on this equation in, on this line as well. So therefore if you put x is equal to this and y is equal to this it is okay it is correct. So in this equation, let us put x is equal to 3k plus 2 by k plus 1 and y will be equal to 7k minus 2 upon k plus 1 minus 8 that is equal to 0. So let us simplify this thing and find the value of k. So let us do it quickly. So we'll get 6, uh, sorry, uh, this is 6 over here. Six k plus four plus seven k minus two, and if you take the LCM, this will give you minus eight k minus eight, and see k plus one will get cross, cross multiplied, and it will be nullified over here, right? Now let us simplify this thing. So it will give you five k, and this is equal to minus 6 that is equal to 0. So therefore k is coming out to be 6 by 5. So k is coming out to be 6 by 5. So what is the ratio k is to 1 guys? k is to 1 can be written as 6 is to 5. 
So one of the important questions, this is on the basis of section formula. So this is 6 is to 5. I hope it is clear to you. So let us take the next question. Uh, these are the vertices of a parallelogram taken in order. So can you find the value of 3x minus 5y over here? Vertices of a parallelogram taken in order. So uh, just make a rough figure over here guys. Let us make a rough figure. And you have to join the diagonals because uh, without joining the diagonals you won't be able to do this question. Although distance formula and all that can be used but that is not useful over it will, it will waste your time right so over here the vertices are taken in order 1 2 4 y x 6 and 2 5 over here right now you know that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other at the point of intersection so this is equal to this and this is equal to this and suppose the point of intersection is o and the coordinates are suppose p comma q right so can i write p over here if you use midpoint formula over here guys can i write p is equal to 1 plus x by 2 or i can write x plus 1 by 2 yes or no in the same manner if i use midpoint formula over here the same p can be written as 4 plus 2 by 2 over here guys can we do that so if you can cancel it over here and you simplify so can I get x is equal to 5 so x is equal to 5 over here in the same manner I can again write q over here guys using the midpoint formula q will be what guys 6 plus 2 by 2 using the midpoint formula in the same manner if I find q using this diagonal using the midpoint formula q will be will be what 5 plus y by 2 or I can write y plus 5 by 2 so you see 2 and 2 will get cancelled out you can find the value of y over here so y will be equal to 3 I hope it is clear now in the question it is being given that we have to find 3x minus 5y so what is the value of 3x minus 5y over here 3 into x is 5 and y is equal to 3 so basically this is 15 minus 15 that is 0 I hope it is clear to you so you can get, I mean, these values can be changed. I have changed it accordingly. I hope it is clear to you. So let us take the next question over here. The distance between these two lines over here. Although this is not directly a grade 10 question, but, but this year only CBSE, I have seen this year and in the previous year, they have introduced some questions on basics of coordinate geometry as well. So you have to find the distance between these two lines over here. So let us simplify. Can I say that this equation is x is equal to minus 2? This is x is equal to minus 2. So if you make the graphs of these two equations in the coordinate plane, so can you not say that x is equal to minus 2 will be somewhere over here? Do you remember this guys? So again for the concept please check out the playlist named as Board Brahmastra on the Infinity Learn class 9 and 10 YouTube channel. I have discussed everything in detail and have practiced many more questions. So x is equal to minus 2 will be like this and this is nothing but x is equal to 8. So its graph will be somewhere over here x is equal to 8. So basically if you have got x is equal to any constant its graph is parallel to y axis like this and if you have got y is equal to any constant its graph is parallel to x axis like this and the graph equation of y axis is x is equal to 0 and the equation of x axis is y is equal to 0. Now the question is what is the distance between them? These are parallel lines. You see that this is x is equal to minus 2 but this distance is nothing but 2 units. Distance can never be negative. In the same manner this distance is 8 units. So what is the total distance between these two lines? It is 10 units over here. I hope it is clear. Okay. So try doing this question, the distance between the points 13 sin x comma 0 and 0 comma 13 cos x. The points are 13 sin x, suppose a it is 13 sin x comma 0 and you have to find, suppose it is b 0 comma 13 cos x. What is the distance between these two points? So irrespective of the value of x, that does not make any change over here. 
सो बेसिकली यू कैन यूज द डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला गाइज ए बी विल बी वॉट ओवर हेयर आई कैन टेक थर्टीन साइन एक्स माइनस जीरो दैट सॉ यू यूज द डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला थर्टीन साइन एक्स माइनस जीरो द होल स्क्वायर प्लस जीरो माइनस थर्टीन कॉस एक्स द होल स्क्वायर राइट एंड ऑब्वियसली यू हैव टू पुट स्क्वायर रूट एंड इट इज यूनिट बिकॉज इट इज डिस्टेंस राइट दैट सॉ यू राइट इट नाउ कैन आई फर्दर राइट इट लाइक दिस दिस इज नथिंग बट थर्टीन स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस थर्टीन स्क्वायर cos square x can i write it like this clear now can i take 13 square as common over here i can take 13 square as common so i'll be left with sin square x plus cos square x clear now you see sin square x plus cos square x is nothing but one you have studied in trigonometry so this is square root of 13 square so can i say this is equal to 13 units over here so therefore you'll see that irrespective of the value of angle x the distance over here will be 13 units only so i hope this question is clear to you so that's all we needed to do in mcqs in the chapter coordinate geometry